हेलो टीम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो ए स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल वी अपलोड वीडियोज ऑन डेली बेसिस एट नाइन ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड एफर्ट्स टू मेक हैंड्स ऑन वीडियोज फॉर यू ओके ओके सो कमिंग टू टूडेज टॉपिक सो एक्चुअली आई रिसीव्ड लॉट ऑफ मैसेज एंड रिक्वेस्ट टू मेक इट डेवॉप्स रोड मैप वीडियो विच एज यू कैन सी इन लास्ट ट्वेल्व आवर्स इट रिसीव्ड वन एटी वोट्स ओके एंड आउट ऑफ विच नाइन्टी एट परसेंट आर रिक्वेस्टिंग टू अपलोड द वीडियो ओके so for that reason i am just recording this video and i hope this is going to be useful for you okay so i have like written everything in very detailed way over an excel sheet okay also like uh, basically in this video what i am going to explain to you is how much time you should spend on a topic and in what ways you should study a topic or tool okay basically when i say in what ways that means like i will share you the sub topics which you should focus on okay yeah so starting with day 0 so on day 0 you just need to prepare your mindset that you are going to be consistent and that's what you need to do on day 0 okay prepare yourself like prepare your mind that you need to like if you want to achieve something you need to put efforts okay okay so starting with the main thing which is day 1 to 4 okay so in day 1 to 4 what you need to do is first of all start with first day you start with devops explanation what exactly is devops what is the flow or de- flow of devops okay what problem it solves and what is the ci cd process inside it okay also finally you should learn how you can adopt devops process in your project building and deploying pro- okay next i want you to start with linux fundamentals so when we say linux fundamentals basically if you are in college or you are a fresher you might already know basic commands like cd ls then mkdir those commands along with that you should start with like changing permission changing ownership of a directory wget commands curl commands tar command to like download package and uh, uh, extract it okay then how to install packages in uh, your uh, linux Th- these kind of things are like very basic and you should focus on this okay or maybe like get started with this and also you should learn the uh, what are the different folders uh, for okay okay then coming to shell scripting so shell scripting is a very vast topic and if you want to learn it very like in a proper way you need to practice it on daily basis okay because uh, even these days i also am learning shell scripting and every day if you are practicing then only it will be in your mind and then you only you will be, be you will be able to master it okay okay so also like these things like shell scripting you should keep it along with other tools so that you can like work with it on daily basis okay next we have day 5 to day 7 okay so here i want you to start with git version control git which is a tool for uh, basically used for source code management okay so in git what you need to study is basic commands see for me it's like from last 6 months i have been using just 5 or 6 git commands nothing more than that and that is actually more than useful for me and more than enough for me okay so i would suggest you that start learning the basic commands of git like cloning the repository creating branches merging branches creating pull request then uh, like uh, switching to branch and those kind of things okay committing push and those things okay then most important thing f- uh, from uh, interview point of view is branching strategy so when like interviewer ask you ki what is the branching strategy used in your project he is asking because they want to know they want to confirm that you have worked in a real time project okay so make sure to understand like a git git branching strategy even i'll be soon making a full tutorial on git soon so you can just follow that as well okay then you need to understand multi branch repository understanding okay so you need to like uh, properly uh, uh, see like how many branches we should create when we are having multiple environments like qa environment dev environment ppd then production environment and disaster recovery environment okay so in that like how we are managing branches okay so those concept you need to understand then very important uh, topic is merge concepts okay so there are like i think two ways to merge things it's uh, uh, git merge and git rebase okay so you can just see the difference because it is one of the most asked questions in interviews okay okay so second thing that i want you to do is say git you can complete i guess like in one and half days okay this much so next once you do that then you can start with build tools okay so for me initially i just worked with maven but at this point my suggestion is two tools you should uh, use maven and node js okay maven i have already made a full tutorial on node js it's not a very like big thing you in, inside node js you just need to understand the folder structure and after that you need to understand like uh, how do we execute the 
project uh, node js based project okay so in that what you need to study is maven lifecycle maven commands understanding of maven outputs like when we execute the maven commands the outputs it, it gives you need to understand how it works okay then you need to understand node js project execution and package installation in node js okay so these things you can like uh, cover in initial 3 days okay 5 to 7 days you can cover okay okay then coming to day 8 to day 11 okay so in this day you need to get started with ci cd tools okay so if you are doing it for the first time definitely go for jenkins even i have made a full tutorial on that okay uh, also like whatever i am showing most of the topics i have i'll be covering in my 30 days of devops uh, series which you can follow okay so <clears throat> for ci cd tools initially if you are doing it for the first time go with jenkins understand how to install jenkins how to create pipelines different kinds of pipeline how to create like uh, different uh, multi branch jobs build project install plugins manage tools and add servers and how to like deploy or like uh, execute projects in J jenkins okay other than jenkins you can uh, try for two other tools which i think are very like phenomenal is first of uh, uh, like new one is azure devops which is for cloud devops part another one is like uh, github actions okay so github actions the reason i say to use github actions is because it provides you free vm to build and execute your project so that is a very good feature so you can go with github actions but if you are fresher go with jenkins that's it okay then next in the same like in the same day you need to understand and work with sonar cube which is a code quality check tool i have made a full video tutorial on that you can follow that as well okay so in in this sonar cube you need to understand the sonar cube requirement why it is used what it is used for then you need to understand code quality versus code coverage that is one of the very important questions when they ask which is being asked in interviews okay then you need to, you need to understand and implement execution and generating the reports in sonar cube okay so that will be more than enough for, for sonar cube okay so day 8 to 11 these things you can cover then coming to day 12 to 13 okay so see two days we have okay so uh, i would suggest you like try to cover this on weekends okay so because on weekends you will be having complete time so you can cover easily okay so for artifact management either you can go with nexus or jfrog these two are like artifact management tools my suggestion go with nexus it is one of the most used tools in artifact management okay so what you need to do you need to understand what exactly are artifacts how to push them to nexus or jfrog okay then you need to understand the release management process with artifacts okay these things if you are implementing it if you are doing it on weekend you can complete easily in one day okay next we have security tools so two security tools i believe like i have written it here uh, i think yeah trivi i'm not sure okay but but you can get started with sonar cube you already covered in previous day you can get started with ovas dependency check which i have made a full tutorial okay you need to understand how this security tool works how, what exactly it scans and how you can do the scanning okay so once you understand that then you can start implementing generating the report and integrate it with jenkins okay other than that uh, there is another security tool which is known as trivi see these two tools you can easily cover if you are doing it on weekend you can cover them in two one day, one single day you can easily cover it's not a very big topic but you just need to understand how it works okay but if you want to cover it like very easily and understand it make sure to watch the 30 days of devops series in there i have like in detail i have covered how it works okay coming to day 14 to day 16 so here basically we will be getting started with docker deep dive okay so in docker since it's a like, very vast topic so these are the sub topics you should focus on first you need to understand what problem does docker solve what it is used for okay then you need to understand what is docker file how you can get started by writing docker files okay then using docker files you will understand how to create docker images then executing the docker images you will see how docker containers are created okay then you can do little bit like uh, uh, like experiments with containers okay then you can start working with docker network how it works and how it helps us to like make our containers little bit secure okay then we have docker compose which is like very useful when you want to create multiple containers at the same time okay then we have docker volume okay so other than that when you want to use docker with uh, different ci cd tools you need to basically integrate docker and run these three basic commands which is to build the docker image to tag the docker image and push the docker images to a registry private or public okay so my suggestion this will not take more than 3 days if you are like keeping consistent and 
working like well okay okay next we have day 17 to 20 so here once you complete docker see these things when i am showing you now they are written in proper order and then in the same order my suggestion is to follow okay also one more thing where it is uh, 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 yeah this ci cd tool when you get started with jenkins my suggestion is side by side keep integrating these tools okay that is the reason i have i am creating this 30 days of devops series and in this way i am making videos like integrating different stages one by one okay because that that makes very useful to learn okay yeah so once we finish docker we can go with kubernetes so initially you need to understand the kubernetes architecture of master and node and then what are the processes that are running inside master and node agent okay and then you need to set up you need to learn to set up kubernetes cluster then you need to learn to write and understand yaml files because yaml files is the specific format in which our manifest files are written and manifest files are used for deployment to kubernetes okay so in this way you can cover and i think 17 18 four days i'm giving here so you can understand deploy set set up kubernetes cluster deploy applications and like do little bit of experiment how to like uh, check the ports how to scale down ports so okay so you can uh, four days is more than enough for kubernetes okay next we have day 21 to 24 here my suggestion is get started with azure devops so in my like video series, I'll be making Azure DevOps from Monday, coming Monday to I think to coming five days, I will work with Azure DevOps and I will show you how we can integrate OWASP, Sonar Cube, Maven, how we can like deploy to Azure Container Registry, then Azure Kubernetes Service. Okay, everything I will show you, don't need to worry. But suggestion is like five days, I think it is more than enough for learning Azure DevOps. Basics of Azure DevOps, a hands-on experience that will be coming so that you can like uh, build and deploy applications easily okay okay next we have day 25 to 29 okay so here comes one of the very important tools which is iac tools iac is like infrastructure as code and there are certain tools like puppet chef terraform ansible but if you want my my like uh, suggestion i would say just learn two tools which is terraform and ansible terraform can be used to provision new resources on azure aws and many more cloud services okay and ansible ansible basically focuses on like updating modifying or like deploying applications when you have to do this on multiple servers you can create an ansible script and do that okay so for terraform basically you should get started by learning what is uh, like terraform what are terraform lifecycle then you should start the hands-on for like you can start by provisioning vms okay because vms is one of the smallest unit which is uh, getting provision using terraform scripts so you can start with that so that you can get a better hands-on uh, knowledge okay next we have ansible as i mentioned the main difference between terraform and ansible is the way they are being used terraform is mostly preferred on provisioning resources ansible is used for mostly on like uh, uh, updating modifying or like installing applications or deploying applications okay so you in ansible you need to learn what problem ansible solves because ansible is a very big problem solver one of the very interesting problem it solves you can check that out okay next we have like see when it comes to hands-on experience with ansible focus on how to install tools to multiple servers using ansible playbook okay so also you should like learn what how to write ansible playbooks how you can understand them okay and then and another thing that you need to do with ansible is deploy applications using ansible trust me when you are going for interview when they ask key what you have done with ansible two things is more than enough for you to say which is uh, like install as uh, tools using ansible and deploying applications using ansible okay so i have made a series on that like a small uh, one hour video on complete course of ansible okay which you can follow you just need to check that out in my video list okay okay coming to day 30 to 31 okay so on that we have uh, monitoring tools which is grafana prometheus okay so grafana is a like a visualization tool which you can like uh, which you can use to monitor your uh, like applications or deployed websites okay so i have made a like basic video on that but i'll be making a very detailed video soon okay so prometheus is a another data source kind of tool which this is how it works in short if i need to tell you basically grafana and prometheus prometheus is the one which will collect data from the application deployed or the websites it will send that data to grafana and grafana will present that data to you 
in the visualized format in very pretty format which is easily like readable or understandable okay so uh, on day 30 31 you can start with that in case you are new i'll be soon making a complete video on grafana and prometheus so you can follow that okay okay so this is basically 31 days which you can in this way you can get started okay rest 15 days my suggestion is to keep extra for like uh, uh, practicing or implementing things okay because obviously many of you it's not possible that everything will go as planned right as uh, madara from naruto said nothing goes as planned in this wretched world okay so my suggestions keep 15 days extra so that you can distribute one one days to whenever you need it okay so as per my point of view trust me 45 days is all you need to understand cloud devops as well as devops as well as devops okay okay so i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned something so make sure to like follow this uh, video and like you can just take a screenshot maybe okay if possible i will try to share this uh, document with you as well okay but my suggestion 45 days that's all you need you need to practice see I already like it's 30 days here where i have divided the time 15 days extra you can keep so if you need extra time you can just take one one day from here okay and that will be more than useful so i hope like if you want to learn devops if you want to like get good knowledge instead of like uh, just doing procrast procrastination just get started the moment you get started all will make everything will make sense and you will even feel happy okay so if you if this video is useful if you are going to get started just post it on linkedin to let others also know that okay you are this guy is getting started Okay, make sure to tag me. I get very happy when someone tags me on uh, LinkedIn because uh, that makes me proud. Ki, okay, someone learning from me is also like start started to implementing things. Okay, okay, so that's it for today's video, and I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, then give it a like. If you are new on the channel, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so with that being said, thank you. Uh, so have a nice day.